once again, audience, welcome back to Vanishing Nathan Carter. I know in the last part we finished the story, but uh, this morning I was looking at my trophies because, as some of you may have noticed, if, um, if this video goes up today, which it probably will, I'll just edit them all today and put them up. So, as yesterday, um, PSN was having some difficulties and I couldn't really edit some videos. I couldn't get online and I couldn't check my trophies. But it seems to be all fixed this morning. So, I was checking my trophies and I realized that I was missing two trophies. And I thought that was weird because I know we had beaten the entire game. So I did some research and apparently there's two hidden trophies. So, the first one, the first one, oh, by the way, the map is a fast travel system, so this will be really easy. The first one is this tunnel at the begin of, beginning of the game. And the second one is a little bit more complicated. So all you have to do is go through the tunnel and find out the mystery. Boom. The tunnel. And the mystery is, we're right back where we started. Okay, so the second part of this video, which the second trophy, it gets a little bit complicated. Remember the grenade we found in like episode 2? Well, apparently that's actually used for something. We'll go to the portal house. So we have to go back to the stone bridge that we are at. Make sure we didn't pass it. <laughs> okay. So now we got to go back to the portal house. Which we'll just go... Well, actually, we don't. We just had to travel to the ancient god area.
Okay. We don't need this. This, we have the... Yeah, I'm not doing that. It's a long way around, but we can just use the elevator that we got in the last part. It wants me to go through the bubbling mines, which, I mean, the elevator would be just faster. Okay, we have to go through the bubbling mines. I thought I had the elevator. Kinda dumb. I guess it didn't save my progress. So now we just had to travel through the bubbling mines. So I don't really know what I'm going to do today. My um, stuff for the new project I'm working on is supposed to arrive today. So I might just spend the day putting that together and working on some stuff. So I spent the whole day yesterday just finishing this game. So of course I didn't know this part existed. Okay, so now that we've uh, done this part, we have to head straight through the, um, the control room. So walk down to the riverbed. And there it is, a scuba diver and a sniper rifle. All right, so that was the last trophy. So yeah, well, that was pretty much it for this, um, well, I guess, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this series again, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, kind of easter egg section of the game. We kind of have a whole other part that wasn't explained, what was that scuba diver, and 
why did he have a sniper rifle? How did he end up dead? And who was he here to kill? But I guess the world may never know. Alright guys, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.